Well, this news we kind of saw coming, but to my surprise, Android 16 is finally here for us to take a look at. No doubt, it came a lot earlier this year, but as Google is making some big shifts in the Pixel ecosystem, and I'm excited to see what's new in Android 16 Developer Preview 1. So please, sit back, relax, and if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to the 95 Google YouTube channel because we have a lot more Android slash Pixel content like this coming your way. Before we get lost in the weeds here, let me give you a quick roadmap of what to expect with Android 16. The first update is with Developer Preview 1 that's really meant to set the groundwork for future additions starting in November 2024, which is what we're covering today. From there, we can expect multiple beta releases from January to March of 2025 that should implement new features, changes, and deliver the core of what Android 16 has meant to offer. In March, we're also expecting Android 16 to hit platform stability, meaning everything is in place for developers to start their final testing before the official release. Finally, we're expecting one last update in Q4 of 2025 that will include new developer APIs, feature updates, optimizations and bug fixes more so the last minute cleanup update so that's a quick look at the timeline you can expect for android 16 and now we can get into the actual features and talk about what's new right away the first new feature we noticed is audio sharing for those who don't know audio sharing basically allows multiple users to listen to the same source of media at the same time and to access this you can go to the connected devices tab in the settings then connection preferences and there you'll see a new audio sharing option option. Taking a look at the feature, audio sharing works by creating a stream similar to an access point with a unique identifying name and optional password. This feature, at least for now, seems to only appear on the Pixel 9 and 8 series and includes an improved compatibility option to better connect to more uncommon devices like hearing aids, for example. As mentioned, the biggest benefit of this addition is to allow users to share the same piece of media privately, and overall it's a nice quality of life feature that should hopefully prevent users from needing a third-party app if they prefer. Another more notable feature making a reappearance in Android 16 is notification cooldown. This functionality was previously present in a Android 15 QPR build, but did not make its way to the stable release of Android 15 for some reason. In Android 16, developer preview 1, notification cooldown is back and serves the same function of minimizing distractions and noise from excessive notifications within a short time frame. When enabled, the notification volume will progressively decrease for each consecutive notification within a two minute window. To access this feature, you can go into settings, notifications, and under the general tab, you can select the option where you're brought to a little splash screen giving some extra details and a toggle to turn it on and off. Overall, it's a subtle yet useful addition for those seeking to minimize distractions, and we're hopeful it sticks around for the full release of Android 16, at least this time around. This next one is also not 100% new to Android, but the revamped modes system is a great addition to this developer preview. If you watch all of our 9to5 Google videos, which you definitely should, by the way, you might remember us talking about it in a recent QPR build, and it seems they are extending that feature to Android 16. Long story short, Modes replaces the traditional Do Not Disturb functionality with a more customizable system. This mini overhaul, if you will, allows users to create custom profiles tailored to specific situations such as the gym, gaming, work, and pretty much anything you can think of. Each mode is able to be personalized with a unique icon for easy identification, scheduled activation times, and granular notification filters to choose exactly which contacts, apps, and alarms can send notifications when a particular mode is activated. To me, this new system is a huge improvement over the previous Do Not Disturb feature, and its inclusion in Android 16 is a welcome addition to say the least. Now, we can shift our attention to some of the smaller changes more focused on refinements rather than big overarching features. For one, we have a new, even dimmer top within the display and touch settings. This allows users to reduce the brightness beyond the usual minimum level. Interestingly, this feature seems to be appearing inconsistently across Pixel 9 devices. I have it available on my Pixel 9, but some of my team members do not have it on their 9 Pro or 9 Pro Fold models, something to just keep in mind. Another subtle change can be found with the at a glance widget where there's a new animation that shows upon unlocking the device. Previously, there was no animation and you would just instantly see the at a glance widget when you unlock your phone, but now in Android 16, at a glance smoothly slides into view. In terms of fitness, Health Connect has seen a minor upgrade. With the user's consent, apps can now read and write medical records, enabling 
the sharing of information such as vaccines and lab results, for example. Within the display settings, a third display mode labeled experimental has now appeared. While the long-term benefit of this is not super clear right now, this mode makes the screen appear much warmer and mutes the color palette a little bit to some degree. Not sure if this will stay here for the final build, but it is interesting nonetheless. And finally, for those that like Android fun facts and trivia, the new code name for Android 16 is Baklava, named after a Middle Eastern dessert. It's like a pastry filled with chopped nuts and served with a syrup of sorts. I'll have to try it out one day, but in the meantime, you can get your own piece of Baklava in the system settings, replacing the previous Android 15 tag, and you can also spot it in the notification shade. Just a fun fact. I almost forgot also, by the way, a huge piece of news about Android 16 and probably the most important one, Pixel 6 owners are able to join the party and get the update as well. You might remember Google's official documentation initially stating the Pixel 6 series would receive updates only until October 2024. This led many, including myself, to believe Android 15 would be the last major update, but Google definitely surprised us and it seems they were able to work it out, which is really good for general consumer satisfaction. Typically, tech companies really want to advocate for their latest devices, normally by pushing people away from the last generation of devices, and it's just refreshing to see Google pushing back against that trend a little bit, and I'm sure, no doubt, Pixel 6 users are thrilled about this. And there you have it, my friends, everything new we spotted in Android 16 Developer Preview 1. Admittedly, it's a relatively modest update at this point, but Preview 1 typically lays the groundwork for bigger and better features in the future. Future, and I'm excited to see how development goes over the next few months. Either way, I want to hear from you guys now. What did you think of the Android 16 update so far? A lot of changes seem to be from previous builds, so there's very little that's actually new at this time. So to speculate a bit in the comments, tell us what features or additions you would like to see before we get more of the feature-packed updates later in the year. Leave a comment and let us know, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. Before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Simply put, we greatly appreciate your support as Damien and I work super hard all day and night to make the best Android content on the platform, and we are super happy to have you guys on the journey. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.